had Happy Meal come today, I had this arrive and I went ahead and opened it. So I already know what's in it. But I'll show you anyway. And then I had my Bootstrap Farmer package come in the mail today. And I have not ever ordered from Bootstrap Farmer. So I hope to see how awesome this is. I have eyed their um, pot squares, it says. Uh, they're square pots, they're two and a half inch pots for a long time. And when Whispering Willow Farms had a harvest collection, the colors were so beautiful I couldn't resist. So totally sold me and I ordered those. I'm gonna review those and show you what those are look like today. So I didn't need a lot of seeds this year, so I only ordered from Baker Creek. Uh, they are one of my favorite companies. Uh, they do have free shipping. Yes, I believe they're always free shipping. And they give you a free seed packet, which is just kind of a fun, like, what am I gonna get type of thing. It makes it a little, I don't know, little, it's little things, right? Um, but these are the seeds that I needed. I already had what I liked to plant the most, had most of those seeds. Um, I actually didn't need any of these. Don't tell my husband. But I ordered the pink jazz tomato. Look at those stripes love them the pineapple tomato which we do grow um, big rainbow and some yellow tomatoes that look similar to this but I bought this at a farmer's stand and was it, just blown away by it so I'm hoping to grow it um, pink senorita Zena, Z, zinnias or zinnias comment below what you call them uh, my family's always called them zinnias but we hear more and more zinnias, so whatever it is, we love them. The candy cane mix, and this was one I ordered. This is the Colossus Red Bicolor. Um, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure this is a marigold. There's no pictures on it. I'm hoping you can see that. Um, I'm pretty sure that was a marigold. My favorite are marigolds. My grandma always had marigolds for pest deterrent around her garden, and the smell of the marigolds just reminds me of her. The, just having them planted near the tomatoes, just the mixture of smells brings her back to my garden for me. So um, marigolds will always have a place in my garden. This was my free seed, was a Japanese wasabi radish, and that changes up. They don't always have that as the free seed. That's why it's so fun. Um, the Amish melon, which is like a musk melon or a cantaloupe variety. A long white zucchini squash. I'm trying different squashes for squash bug deterrent. Um, not deterrent. Um, one that will last and not get eaten by squash bugs. Uh, I always grow the Ford hook. It's what my grandpa always grew. Uh, the squash bugs like it as much as we do. So we're trying something different. Um, I figured I'm gonna just try for different varieties and maybe I'll find one that's better uh, or maybe it will attract them and we won't get any fruit. Uh, the Black Beauty squash. I don't, even, I don't even remember ordering that one. Whoops. And then the Black Strawberry Tomato, which is actually smaller once I read the description. It is a bit smaller than I expect, but I'm still expecting it to be really pretty and tasteful. It has some gorgeous coloring. I'm excited to grow it and okra alabama red we fell in love a few years ago with the texas hill country and i can't find it hoping this variety is similar to the texas hill country it looks a little smaller let's hope it's not uh, i mean you want your your pods a little smaller but i don't want them to be too small i want them to be more like this so we'll see what we get but that's it that's what i got in the mail today can't wait. Um, we still have almost a month until we uh, have our planting day is February 14th. That's almost four weeks from now from this video being recorded. So I have a little bit of time. You do see my onions in the back. They're sprouting. They're taking a while. The pelleted ones are doing better than the non-pelleted. I just bought the pelleted because they were on sale. They were like half off. So I tried them, uh, just doing it to save money. 
Now I might be doing it because they grow better. We'll see. I'm trying to grow them for bulbs, not for greens. Of course, we'll use their greens, but I'm wanting some big onion bulbs. We use onions in everything we eat. So hopefully we'll be successful in that. And I'll keep you updated on the onions as well as when we do get everything planted. And most of these are summer veggies, but we will put in some spring veggies to start with. Um, I'll try to get some plans and see what that's going to look like, and I'll update you. All right. Nope. Yes, I ordered these from Bootstrap Farmer. Heard a lot of good things about them. And I reuse my pots. I sanitize them at the end of the season. So I was going to make a little bit of an investment and get some good pots this year. pretty colors. I ordered the, I believe, 250 pack. They're good size. They're nice and deep. Forgot what the colors are. It says it on the box. Desert tan. Grass green. And online, in, and in this, even on my camera, it looks more of a teal. It is not as teal. There is a hint of teal, but I would definitely say it is more of a grass green. Still very pretty. I doubted that one. I like my blues, but I, I wasn't sure what that would turn out to be. And it is more of a grass green with a hint of teal, if that matters to you that much. If it matters to me. This is the chili red. The mahogany, which is more like a, um, I don't know, like the typical pot you would see the plants in. And, let's see, it says it on here. P pewter? Yep, pewter. So they definitely feel more sturdy. This is what sold me is this beautiful red. Just fell in love with that. They are more sturdy. If I squish them, squeeze them pretty hard. I don't want to break them, but I do want to show you how sturdy they feel. They feel very thick. Definitely going to last me several years. I always sanitize mine at the end of the season. You don't want to leave it dirty. Even if it looks clean, you want to sanitize them so bacteria and molds don't stay in there definitely very I mean it's flexible but it's not it's not gonna break easily on me definitely last me for a long time I'd say if they last me I have high expectations of these guys I think I would like them to last me four to five years so we'll see how how good they do right now I reuse a lot of the plants uh, pots that I buy from the store and I mean those have lasted me three or four years so yes I do expect these to last me four to five years do you like my seed trays? another reason I wanted to order the square pots was I was using those round ones and a round one would take about this much space up it would have a lot of wasted space whereas these are deep enough to take care of the roots like I need it to but they're going to fill in that space instead of having a gap. Now, filling in that space also prevents, because I bottom water my seedlings, it's gonna prevent the evaporation and loss of water. These are, there's a little bit of room there, but they're gonna be really snug when they're full of dirt. I'm just not ready for that yet. These are also not the 1020 trays from Bootstrap Farmer, they're just from a farm store. I went ahead and grabbed them up when I saw them put on the shelves because I knew all of my previous ones have cracked and I would definitely need to, to replace them. I think I usually get a couple each year, but every one of them has a crack, so I bought all new. And that's probably why they don't fit quite perfectly. 
but like I said, with the dirt in them, they're gonna be taking up the space just perfectly. I'm very happy with them. Thanks for following along, and if you can, subscribe so you can help our channel grow. Thanks.